Cinema 5D Stage at Photo and Adventure is brought to you by Blackmagic Design, creating amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. Rotolite, advanced LED lighting, and Canon, live for the story. Welcome again to the Cinema 5D live film and video stage here from Photo and Adventure 2019. Actually, it's time to, you know, actually take a look behind the scenes of how this crazy setup that we have here, which is really a bit over the top, but, you know, we just wanted to make it look really cool. So to introduce you to everybody behind the scenes and how everything works here. So let me actually go outside of the stage and walk around. There's not so much audience today as there was yesterday. <laughs> but I hope online a lot of people see this. So here is our live uh, direction backstage. Uh, Bobo, how are you? Yeah, thank you. I'm fine. We are as they're working the whole day. And we have a lot of fun here on the uh, film and video stage. So you guys with CineLife actually specialize in cinematic multi-camera uh, setups like this one. Of course, I mean, we, here we are here to kind of show off what is possible uh, on a relatively small stage. Uh, what, what, what are we seeing in front of us? Yeah, we wanted to uh, have a different approach uh, what's uh, multi-camera setups. So we uh, don't want to uh, go for the uh, um, for the smaller sensors, so we wanted bigger sensors. So we 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 are going to uh, uh, 35 millimeters cinema sensors and uh, cinema cameras. So we decided uh, to use uh, the Canon's uh, C300 Mark II and the Canon lenses because uh, the the look of the lenses and the look uh, what the what the sensor is doing is that that look that we that we wanted. I mean, it's by standard in this um, multicam setups in TV. Very often we see standard broadcast cameras, tiny sensors, relatively smaller lenses, of course, because the tinier the sensor, the smaller the lens can be. So as soon as you move to a larger sensor, the the lens grows exponentially, which we see actually here with a 51,000 lens. Oh, yeah, this is the, the, the longest cinema lens, uh, uh, zoom lens that, that we have on the market. Mm -hmm. So, but now I have to work because now this is uh, the first time in my life I have to uh, put my own lower third. Yeah, we have to know who you are, so let's activate that lower third. Okay, now we, now we are on. Um, yeah, and the, therefore we are we're working uh, with the, with the cinema lenses, and uh, yeah, so we uh, um, ended up by a setup uh, with Canon camera, uh, Canon lenses, and uh, a Blackmagic uh, um, uh, multi-camera setup, and. Uh, so all the post-production hardware basically is the Blackmagic Atom two and multi-view. Yes, yes, you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, what kind of typical productions do you do with this setup? I mean, this, of course, is an exception of case because the scale of it is relatively small compared to the, your normal productions with it. Yes, we, we're doing um, comedy shows. Uh, we are doing uh, music, live sessions. The, the last big session we did was uh, the last show uh, from the EF, EFV, an Austrian, uh, Austrian uh, musicians. And, uh, yeah. You just came back from China to do a multicam. Yeah, but uh, I was I was there only as as a, as a camera person. But uh, I want to introduce you uh, to to our team. We have our director David Hoswell. Is on. on I think side. he's just on the phone because he's talking. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, David. <laughs> Hi, nice. To meet you. We have no lower third for you, I think. But no, no, we don't. We don't. You have to fade it in if you have it for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, I mean, there's. There's not too much going on on stage right now, so that's why all the cameras are backstage. Um, yeah. Then we have our sound engineer, Andreas Neubauer. Hi, how are you? Hey, how are you? I hope I was not an too annoying with my Everything. voice. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. And, uh, and, uh, and, our, and our technician, uh, Raphael Gütel, and uh, we have um, our crane crew is... Uh, uh, Michael Zofal and uh, uh, Florian is uh, on the remote head. And He's just playing computer games there, aren't you? What? What? It looks like you're playing a computer game there. Yes, a little bit. <laughs> and, uh, and then we have, we have our camera um, artists with uh, 
Dennis Bartzek and Gerhard Zahalker and Andreas is on the third camera. And last but not least, we have Danielle behind the live and stream. Yes, and uh, live stream is Danielle, and I think now you can... I'll, I'll move on to Danielle. <laughs> so our live stream is supported by ETAS, who are one of the dealers exhibiting here. They're helping us with the technology. Uh, we're actually using a live view unit, if you know what that is. It's basically a small device that has a lot of SIM cards inside. Uh, for the different uh, um, br yeah, the mobile phone providers. So even if the Wi-Fi in here is too bad, we can actually transmit through all the mobile phone networks. Uh, but uh, Danielle is working for Cinema 5D and we actually gave her the job to, to make sure that everything is distributed to all the channels. So are you happy with how it goes? I'm very happy, yes. Yeah, so we, we see all the streams here on screen. Uh, we are broadcasting live to three different four different destinations right now and uh, with a software or actually online service called Switchboard. Yes, works smoothly and perfectly. We had some hiccups but not too many so you're happy, right? I'm happy, yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, I think that concludes our little behind the scenes look of our setup here. Um, if you want to know more about these multicam setups, please visit cinelife.com. Uh, and uh, is it Cinelife AT or .com? Yeah, Cinelife AT, sorry about that. Uh, that's about the cinematic multicam productions uh, by this team. So they are available for hire all across Europe. And yeah, thanks for watching. Stay, uh, stay tuned. Uh, next up, I think we have uh, Blackmagic Design again with a basic editing session in DaVinci Resolve 16. Thank you. <laughs>